Hello, my name is Daniel and welcome to Tech Tech. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Windows to set up the dash cam in your Tesla so you can use sentry mode. So before we jump onto the PC, you'll need to grab yourself either a hard drive, this is a Chasiba 500 gigabyte one, or you can use a USB stick, something along those lines. Uh, this one is a Philips 32 gigabyte USB stick. Now you can use either one, it doesn't really matter. One just has more memory than the other. Um, and I guess if you want to save more footage, then this is the one to go with. If not, you can get something like this, which is a little bit smaller. Um, however, the Tesla does override old footage um, once it gets full. So if you're not really that worried, then I'd probably just go with something like this. So the first thing you need to do once you head over onto your computer is of course plug in the hard drive with a USB stick into a USB drive and wait for it to load up. And then you need to just go down to the bottom and click on the file explorer and scroll down to where your USB drive is on the left hand side. Ours is the Chasiba one. Once you're inside here then you can click on the drive tools and you can click on format. And you can see the capacity here of this one is 500 gigabytes. So we need to format the hard drive to EXFAT. And we can do default allocation for the unit size and then just name it whatever you want. And I'm gonna call this one Tesla Cam, just like that. Once you've got those settings in there, then you can go ahead and click the start button, which will go and format the hard drive. Fantastic. So once this format complete message comes up, just click OK and then close that down. Now that's the formatting of the hard drive done. So the next thing we need to do now is go back into the file explorer, scroll down on the left hand side and click on your hard drive. Of course, this name will be different, so make sure you select the right one. Then we want to right click and we want to go new and create a new folder. And again, this folder needs to be called Tesla Cam, like so. But then this time it needs to be with a capital T and a capital C. Once we've got the folder name called Tesla Cam inside, uh, there should be nothing inside that folder, so it should all be empty. We can then go down into the bottom right corner and eject the external USB so that it safely removes it from the computer. Now that we're done on the Windows PC, we can go and jump in the Tesla and get the sentry mode set up. Okay, so the first thing you need to do when you get into your Tesla is find where the USB ports are. Now in Tesla Model 3, they are down here. They're just located underneath. And I actually have a USB uh, connector plugged in here, which we can talk about in another video. But we can, the one that says data and power, just plug in your hard drive like so. Just wait for it to boot up. Mine has a little light on it, so you can see that it's on. And that is it for that. So you can close this all back up. Then what you need to do is you go into your control settings and you scroll down to safety and security and you just turn sentry mode on. Now you have a couple of settings here you can exclude from home, which I always do because there's no point if you're on a driveway like this, but if you're on the road, then I'd include that on. You can exclude work, same sort of scenario and exclude your favourites if you want to. Um, so I normally just turn the home off and leave the rest on. And then you can also have the settings here to save clips on honk. Uh, so that's when you honk your horn, it will save to the, the device. Um, and then you can also format the USB device from your car. So that is it for this video. If you did enjoy it, give it a big thumbs up. And if you are new around here, why not consider subscribing? Because we have plenty more videos on electric vehicles, autonomy and consumer tech. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.